Welcome to another episode of My Sentiments, and we are back with our prize pick bottle of the week. This week, we got one of my favorites. Well, all of them are one of my favorites, but this one is one of my personal favorites. It's one of the ones that I suggest anybody get, and I would almost guarantee you that you will like it. This is one of the ones that if I did buy it offline without smelling it, I wouldn't be sorry when I got it. But I'm not suggesting you buy nothing offline without smelling it, but this is one that if you do grab it, it's, you will not regret it. It's by Francis Kirshner, which is the maker of Baccarat, the one of the most famous fragrances today anyway. Popular, famous, whatever. But again, this is one of the ones that I'd start dealing with, well, shopping with, using, whatever you want to call it, when I start trying to stray away from Baccarat. Um, it is not as powerful as Baccarat, but it's a very powerful cologne, and although it's called A La Rose, it is for men. Francis Kirshen designed two fragrances in this line, or in this, this title, A La Rose. One is for women and one is for men. Of course, men would say home, and one for women would say film. This one is home. I don't know what the film smell like because I don't wear feminine products. Uh, again, this one is, uh, I would pretty much wear this any time of the year. Uh, spring, summer, fall, winter, whenever. Uh, I would say daytime, overnight time, but it's, it's definitely an anytime fragrance. Um, I would wear it to anywhere I want to be mm, discovered. Um, I don't, this is not somewhere I would want to just go in. I wouldn't wear this if I just want to go in and captivate people or just take over the room. This leaves a good walk by breeze scent or whatever you want to call it. it but it's not one that just own the room like Baccarat would. But it definitely has the longevity that Baccarat has. And that's why it's worth every bit of the 275 that the bottle costs. If you hit big on your prize pick, you can buy two bottles because, like I say, it's, it's quite affordable. It's 275 out of 10. I, on a scale from 1 to 10, I give it a 9.5. Again, the longevity is a, a 9. The, the scent is, is very powerful, but it's light at the same time. And it's, again, with it being a rose, don't let that stray you away from it, fellas. It's very powerful, and the women love it. They don't love it like it's one for them. They love it like they want to smell it on you. So, again, the, the notes in this one, just to be more clear so you know it's nothing feminine, it, it's got, like, grapefruit, um, sage, um, rose, of course, because it, it, it is a rose. Uh, but it's not just straight-up rose. It's a different type of rose. I don't I don't know which rose it is. I do my homework on it and get back with you on it. But this one is it definitely has rose in it, but it's it's by far one of the most masculine roses you ever find on the market for a fragrance. Um it definitely has sandalwood in it. Um what's a fragrance without sandalwood or bergamot? Um I don't know if I said amber. It definitely has amber in it. What's a fragrance without amber? And, and I definitely sent some cedar. I don't know if it's cedar wood or just plain cedar, but again, it is a great, great buy for 275. I give it on a scale from one to 10, I give it a nine and a half. And it's again, one of my personal favorites. Uh, a La Rose by Francis Kirshen. And that has been this week's prize pick bottle. Welcome to another episode of My Sentiments. I am your host, Justin Whitehead, and this is a show only for people who wash their ass. So again, if this does not apply to you, get the fuck off this channel. I got my dog, my OG, the man who put the mic in my hand, my brother, K-Dub in the motherfucking building with me today. Look, what's up, what's up? Man, look. My guy. This is it's an honor. It's a pleasure to have you in here. Anything <laughs> Yes, sir, yes, sir. It's your man, Justin Whitehead, back again with Prize Pick, where a single entry could be life changing. Look, with MMA, MLB, WNBA, and even slap boxing, each day there's a chance for you to add more money to the bank. All you have to do is simply register, deposit, select more or less two to six player stats, points, assists, rebounds, potentially win up to 25 times your entry. Plus, if it's your first time on Prize Pick, they'll match your initial deposit up to $100. Available in over 30 states, head on over to Prize Picks now and use promo code MYSENT, that's M Y S C E N T, and tell them we sent you. So go over, download Prize Pick today for your daily fantasy sports experience. Daily fantasy made easy.
Thing that I do and K Dub come be a part of it, it means a goddamn lot. I'm telling you. They, when I tell people you put the mic in my hand, some people be shocked, but some people be like, oh, I, I, I can see that. I can see that. Yeah, I, I can see it. Yeah. This he, man, he taught me how to move in the game, dog. I appreciate that. All the mean motherfuckers come around me, man. <laughs> <laughs> if you a mean comedian, they just come right around me. If you nice, you go get around Ronnie and Jordan. If you mean, you come get around me. That's how I was. <laughs> Hey, I fell in the right hand though, cause my dog taught me how to move. You, you, real shit. I know this ain't got nothing to do with the show, but a lot of what you taught me got me. Oh right man, here, dog. you know how we do, man. We, yeah. was, we, we was teaching each other. Man. I never forget that. Yes, sir. So got you in here today. Uh, you know, this is my show about sense. So I got you in here to see, you know, see what you what you spray on, what you sprayed on before you start getting that money. I know you've been getting it for a long time. So if you could have, you know, if you can remember what you might have wore back then, I want to know what you wore then and what you wear now. And I'm gonna. Tell you, you know, a couple of what a couple of things I wear now, you know. Well, I used to wear that high karate. You remember that? The high karate. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what the ball looks like. <laughs> but I don't hear people karate, talk about it. That high karate used to could have a commercial where Kung Fu would be whooping somebody. It, it, was, a, it was a good commercial, but that shit wasn't good. It wouldn't come on. It wasn't that good. good How much did it cost? I think it was probably about uh, maybe. Nineteen ninety nine or eighteen ninety nine. You can get that in Kmart then. They were back in nineteen eighty seven though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I just I was just born, so was, I was six. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have no idea about that. Cool that cool water, that occur. Oh yeah. Like you occur, still that? Yeah. That was that was that, that one back in the day. Uh it didn't last long with a damn, but that was that one. Which one that occurred? Curve. Yeah, that cool water last. That cool water. Cool water, yeah. Good. Cool water was a good one, but that was that. Your uncle put you on that one. Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. Oh. You got that Johnson's baby powder in cool water Ooh. cologne. Yeah, so that's it. <laughs> dress. <laughs> and Snoop was getting money back then. What in the hell he doing wearing cool water? Man, any cool but water. But that's that know. one. Somebody, you you had, if you, wore, if you wore cool water, you had a man in your life. Wow. You had men in your life, real shit. You didn't, you didn't, it, didn't no woman put you on cool water. You know what I'm saying? You had a man or somebody in your life, whether it was Snoop Dogg it was Snoop or Dog. somebody, somebody. It was Snoop Dogg. Somebody. My put dad was wearing that high karate. And that who put you on that shit? <laughs> no, I don't know who wearing it, but I seen the commercial on TV. That's a damn show. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I ain't never seen nobody with it, but I know it had a commercial. So you never wore it for real? No. Oh, no. okay. I just started wearing it on for real till I was about. 25, 30 years old, man. Which one was that? Uh, man, uh, curve was. I don't curve. know, man. It could have been that bottom curve. Curve something. was. <laughs> curve was very hot, and that was that was that young nigga <laughs> thing. You know that that green bottle with the little the the gold uh, brownish color tab on it. Man, it wasn't even mine. It was my cousin cologne. Yeah. I was wearing his cologne. But that shit smelled good. Yeah. For 30 minutes. It's a little, he's wears one in a little frosty bottle. I forgot. He used to be frosty like this bottle. It was black with the frost color right on it? Because it had the... No, they, it was white. It was frost. Oh, yeah, because it had three. Black. They had the green, the black, and the white. So the white was frost? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I remember frost. Yeah, that was yeah. one of the last... That, yeah. was, that was a couple years out the curve had been out. So they had come out with a couple more editions of it. Didn't they have a curve in a green bottle? Yeah, that was yeah. original. Oh, yeah. That yeah, was the, yeah, that's yeah. the OG. And yeah. you can still go to any Walmart, Ross... Uh, uh, TJ Maxx, what have you? They they got them. If anybody who's still stuck on curve, you can go and get yourself. It's nice to wear the bed. Yeah, yeah, you can wear the bed. Yeah, you can go sleep in it. <laughs> you, know, you got a little chick coming over. Got a little chick coming over. You can lay down you with that curve. Yeah, on. you don't want to waste your good shit. She'd appreciate that. Yeah, she will. She <laughs> will. If you wash your ass, I don't give a damn what it is that you wear. You got to wash your ass. Um, <laughs> you got to. You got to, cause it ain't gonna smell right. Can't, what you, you can't wipe it. You gotta wash. You can't, it. You gotta wash. You can't wipe it. Don't go get no. Don't go get what they call them dude wipes and, and try to spray over that shit. Wipe it. <laughs> yeah, so what you what you wore here today? What you, what you got on? You got I be on putting today? on two colognes. I you throw, got to sometimes cause you don't want to smell like the net man. I throw on a little Prada. Okay. A little Prada man. I like that cause it's black and red. Yeah, that's your color. Little vice that, lord. That's your favorite color. Little vice lord. <laughs> <laughs> and I got this here okay, Dior. Savage, Savage, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now this one is is very, very, very popular, very common. I don't wear it anymore because it's very popular. It was one of the when I started giving me some money, that was the first one I started wearing. I that always and mix them up. Why. 
Yeah, I I met with that YSL. I don't know why I ain't said that earlier. Yeah, YSL. Why? They got a new one. I, I want you to check out, but we already uh, talked about that one. I'll get you on it when we get through. Matter of fact, fuck it. It's YSL myself. Yeah, I'm gonna check it out. I can let you check it out right now. You want to get it? Man, do I? Do I? Man, let me tell you something. This is called man. my sentiments. Well, we got my sense. <laughs> This oh, one, of, this, yeah, this one they they knew some because you know that why is 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 very popular, and uh, so they had to come out with something else because people like me who get online and go to complaining about they need to come out with something else. That's what it's for, and it's, this ball is very, very affordable. And they got the little thing. Man, let me tell you, yeah. if we gonna do it, we gonna do it right now. No, this is smell good. Yeah. You fuck with it. Yeah, this shit smells good. Then I put you on one. Yeah. Yeah, see that's what I'm saying. Why it sell myself? I put this shit on, I get my baby mama back. Hey. <laughs> she leave that she leave her husband. Hey, look. She, she, oh, and she married. She'll leave, she leave that nigga in that job. <laughs> <laughs> it just smells good. Yeah, I'll can throw I, you on one. Can I have this? Yes. Yeah. Okay, thank yeah. you. Myself. Why it sell? I paid 96 for this, boy. 96? 96 dollars out of Sephora. You know, it's travel side. You know, yeah. we, we we on the road. You don't need yes, the big ball. Oh, yeah, you're going to take TSA it. TSA going to take that motherfucker. They, they, yeah, they, they, they take, take it. it. <laughs> they ain't nobody told me to take it. Man. They told them, man. You look at that, see that cologne? They got to take it. They got a separate track can for our shit. They ease it in there. That's how you know they're going to take it out of there. I they don't want to bust the take bottle. It. Yeah. I, I can tell I looked under the TSA suit, he had a nice suit on. I said, he going to spray that on. He's going to spray that shit on. So he's going to pull that TSA, have that double breast suit on. That's all he needed, nigga. So you say you, you mix them up. What's your what's your favorite out of these two? That product. So that's the one you got on today. Well, yeah, I got I spray a little hint of that. Get a little product on. So what's your so what's your what's your spray system? How you how you spray it on? Uh I ain't really put nothing on today because I really ain't took no shower today because I got up and ran straight down there to set. So I ain't took a shower. So I don't put cologne on over dirt. Yeah, you don't I do used that. To. I appreciate that. I used to. Yeah. But I don't do it no more. Yeah. But the way I spray is I the wrist. I hit the wrist like twice and then I do that. Don't do this. Never do that. I just do it out of habit, right? I, well, break that habit, dog. I'm trying Let me to tell you. I ain't even right. finished telling you. Oh, what all right, I did. okay, cool. <laughs> Let me tell you what I do because I think I make up for it. I go, S -s -s, and I got there and do that. And then I come run it there, right? But then I still come back and say, S -s 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 -s, and just like another spray that I walk into, man. I got, I kind of get it. No, I'm telling you. What you, you need me to do, man? All right. There's better not be no, no what, I ain't gonna goddamn be, macadamia. No, I ain't gonna, <laughs> I ain't gonna have you going out like that. But what I am gonna tell you, though, as soon as you hop out the shower, bro, and you you dry it off, and you don't dry it off or whatever, and your pores still open, yeah. you hit yourself with the cologne in. Your body. Anywhere where somebody knows could touch if she hug you, dap you up, nigga, dap you up, you know what I'm saying? So you wanna get all of that. A woman, she short. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Unless so you go WNBA. Get, get you want to get all this. You know what I'm saying? You want to get that center mask. Yeah. You want to get that. And so if you're wearing a short sleeve shirt, you want to get, you know what I'm saying? Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. You know what I'm saying? While your pores are open. Then when you put your clothes on, you know, you might smoke before you leave the house or whatever. Or whatever. But when you put your clothes on, you hit your shirt in the same spot that you hit your chest at. Wherever somebody can. Wherever she might put her face at when she hug you because you want her to smell it. You know what it smells like. So you yeah. waiting for another motherfucker to smell it. So when you spray it on, wherever a person knows could touch. That's how you spray it That's on. how you do it. And then where you want it to last that you put it in creases. When your pores are open. So the more active you are, it's going to activate. It's going to come out. Yeah. Yeah. That's macaron. That nigga did yeah. do the macaron, man. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah, so you know shit. That, that, that's that's your um that's that's your goddamn that's that's my spray system. Oh, I don't I know if you gonna I like it. Yeah. I like it. what I'm gonna start doing is what you said when I jump out of the shit. I don't yeah. do it like that. When your pores are open, that's the best time. Yeah. That's the best time. That is the best time to do it. I, uh, but my pores don't be open because I'm an amphibian. I'm a motherfucker. I'm just fucking with you. But I'm going to take a cold shower. Nigga. <laughs> I, I be in that motherfucker to, to do on the glass. Well, yeah, but hey. I come I out of there. But look, huh, okay, so 
I'm gonna ask you this, and I'm gonna slide into the next segment. When you wear, is this your every day, or when you do wear, is it during the day or at night when you about to hit the stage and be around people? Like, what's your, yeah. what's, what's your? What a motherfucker gonna smell on me is really both of them when I'm doing. Like, if I only spray one night, like I might be, I might be, um, let's say I might be coming in here. I'm gonna hit that. You gonna hit this? Okay. I'm gonna smoke before I get here and throw that one on just so. On, Rub a church woman or something the wrong way I got with you. the weed, you know, because I keep the sanitizer, I keep the breath mints. I don't walk around with yeah. it with the weed on me, yeah, you know what I mean. So, but if I'm trying to go get somewhere fancy, I'm finna go run into Michelle Obama or something whenever she want to cheat on Barack. <laughs> come out at me, I put that on, you don't that Prada. okay. So, so you on. mix both of them, yeah, okay, cool, cool, yeah, cool. Okay, I, I've never. Mm. I've never met Savage. It was one of my favorites. When me and the Brad was messing around when she had our baby. <laughs> yeah, I am the Brad's baby that everybody want to know. But no, that's besides that. Like, yeah, mix them both. So yeah, okay, cool. I, I, I might want to. I, I might want to spray both of them on the car to mix it. But I'm gonna slide in, in into this next segment since you got me wondering when you wear or, or how you wear it. It's called my situation, and. During this, I'm gonna give you a scenario, and I'm gonna paint the picture, this whole scene, of where you at, and what you're about to do. And I want you to tell me which one of these samples that they suggest that I buy when I come back in the store. You know how you go and buy cologne to just give you all these samples and make you spend some more money. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm finna do. I'm gonna let you smell these, and you tell me. All right. <clears throat> All right, you going to the White House, and Michelle Obama gonna be there. <laughs> yes. Now you already don't want this. You, Use you, Fannie Willis. Say Fannie. Okay, Willis, you want. Okay, you want Fannie Willis. Yes. All right, fuck it. You got a court date for some for for some bullshit, and you got a uh, and Fannie Willis is the DA. That's my boo, man. That's your boo. Yes. You got to go in there and and you you might just get to hug Fanny Nick. You might just get to, to, to get and, this. And fight old Wade. What's his name, Wade? The one that, was, the one that called a good grill. <laughs> good, <laughs> good tiger. <laughs> good grill. Gorilla grill. Hey, but don't, do, don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. Hey. Wade. What his name, Wade? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Google, go ahead. Finish your story, man. All right, you going? You got a you got an event, and Fanny gonna be there. You ain't at court. We ain't going to court no more. Fuck that. You got an event, and and they want you to host an event for the city of Atlanta, and old Fanny gonna be there, and you oh, gonna be sitting brother. at the table with her, and the good Lord put it on the 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 person the coordinator's heart to sit you right beside her. Mm -hmm. Which one of these would you wear? Now I'm gonna spray them for you. Okay. You tell me which one you want. Actually, is is Nathan, is Nathan Wade in the building or he's not in the building? Uh, is Nathan Wade in the building? Yeah, he gonna be there too. Okay, let me see. Yeah, he there too. Yeah, I gotta pick the best one because I heard Nathan Wade was going off out there on the south side. <laughs> Hold up, is this? I think we use this one, son. My bad, you put it back up here. We have to edit it for that. I think we use this. You remember that one? No, 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 because that's the one I'm going to introduce. Um, it's one behind you, bro. Give me one of the white ones. Yeah, I got two. Appreciate it. That's the one now. Then. All right, bro. So, <clears throat> out of these three, I want you to tell me which one you will wear. To this event that you are hosting, and you're gonna be sitting right beside Fanny, and Wade gonna be down the table a little bit more. He ain't gonna be nowhere near, but he can see you. Mm -hmm. He'll be to see her reaction to Michael. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now this is uh, one of my favorite. It's called Aqua Vitae by Francis Curzon. All right. <clears throat> You want to wait out and know what else? Hold on. 
Smell like some shit Nathan Wade or whatever. You don't like that one, bro? It's kind of Nathan Wade. It's very citrus. It's, it's one of those in the daytime. It's not really an event type. It's, 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 yeah, it's not a bad one. So what would you rate that one on a scale of one Let to me 10? see it again. I'm going to rate it. Yeah. I'm going to rate what I think. I'm ready to count it on. That's that one. Huh? That's the maker of Baccarat. You know everybody crazy about Baccarat. This is another one from yeah, the line, but it's a little cheaper than Baccarat. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> Better be a lot cheaper. <laughs> About two hundred dollars mm -hmm. cheap. Two hundred, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I can smell two hundred dollars missing. <laughs> <laughs> two, about two hundred dollars missing out here. <laughs> yeah, not this one. I, I wouldn't buy it. You wouldn't buy it. All right. No, okay. I wouldn't well. spread it on if I if, if somebody slammed me in the back of a dump uh, goddamn <laughs> garbage truck. Okay. Well, I get I go to the party smelling like that shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. That's a no no to the Francis Curzon. This is the newest on Christian Dior's high-end line called the New Look. It's very clean. Make sure you ain't got that other bullshit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go ahead. Yeah, that, that, yeah shake them. See, we got, I'm telling you, we got you right in here, bro. You ain't got to worry about it. Reset those pallets with the coffee grinds. What is the coffee grind? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Smell like, smell like gunpowder, nigga. <laughs> 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 I thought it was. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I know you keep a pill stain. I know you had to go. Yeah, I got it on. I know you do. I do too. You know, I, you do know, I know you. That's <laughs> <laughs> crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, I ain't like gonna that, talk I about what know. you know. what I'm saying on the camera. I wasn't gonna, gonna, gonna say nothing either. I like can smell it. Huh? But you know I know. You know I know. <laughs> <laughs> Love that day in your apartment. Yeah, bro, you crazy. Right? No, you know. Why you, <laughs> why you run out? Man, bro, we had to get the hell on, Listen, dog. Listen, bro, why? Man, you know, let me smell this first. Please. I'm going to tell her what you did. No, nah, here, you know <laughs> what you did. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that shit was crazy. Bro. And this nigga was on the fourth floor. Hey, man. That goddamn the elevator ain't never been so slow. Bitch had already snitched on me three times. <laughs> mm -mm. Trying to get this one. See, it's real light and it's a good mixture. It uh, it's probably still one of those daytime scents. It smell like when somebody clean their bathroom up real good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, um, yeah. I dig it. You wouldn't want to wear that one either. Nah. God damn, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I hope this one. Nathan Wade gonna get his bitch back fucking with that <laughs> shit. <laughs> well, you know what? He might not, because I still got another one for you after this one if you don't like this one, because it's one of my personal favorites. And you know, I ain't going to wear that. And this one here out of... Just give my bitch back to Nathan, ain't it? Give me something, man. This one here out of, out of the Joe, Col uh, Joe Cologne. Joe Malone collection. Joe, Joe who? Joe Malone. Joe Malone. It's a nice, affordable... It's a dude in my clan named Joe Malone. I am. <laughs> I kind of like that one. You like that one. Yeah, this one smells pretty good. Yeah, it's it's, it's nice. It's, it's very yeah, clean. Man. It's light. Now. Yeah. Yeah. It's called the Murtonka. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. I get this shit. Yeah. Yeah. She, she is okay, see, we got one. Man. We got one. We finally got one. We what is it called? Up. What is it called? Murtonka by Joe Malone. Murtonka, let me see it. I fuck with it. Yeah. Yeah, I can fuck with that. Man, because I was scared for a minute, man. Hell no, this one here, I, yeah. I like it. Because, I mean. The other shit, man. Yeah, get I my, mean, you were, yeah, you, you wasn't, shit, you wasn't feeling none of that. You said, wait, I thought the other one, one was rope spray. Wait, wait, this one? I think that first one you got. Yeah, yeah, this one you're talking about. <laughs> it smell like that kid-friendly rope spray. Hey, you know, the one that ain't going to do, it ain't going to even kill the roaches if it can. Barely kill the roaches. It's, it's stumble them, give them a little COVID. <laughs> Make them get the hell on. Yeah, get the hell on. <laughs> Don't care. You just run them off. <laughs> Environment. The rope goes somewhere else and, it, and strive still. First it is strive. Do everything a roach can do in another yeah, motherfucker's life. Still spot. go off. He's spreading with that shit. He go, he go off still strive in other places, you know. Joe Malone, the Muratonka, is mm -hmm. K-Dub approved. Yeah, let me grab my little scent back. I'm going to keep that one in my pocket. I like yeah. that YSL. 
Yeah, you you fuck with that YSL. That was the first I, one. I fuck around and get them three in there, man. Damn. So let me ask you this: Can you buy fragrances online? Can I buy them online? Yeah. No, like, will you? Are you that? Are you? I would like buy that. What I got. Back, Cause you but, already know where. Yeah, it is. but yeah. would I go online and hear word of mouth? Oh, I shit. I'm trying to think. I would still have to be in a war before. Cause even if I smell it on someone, I don't know what they did, and I don't know their normal body. So right, you know, right, 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 people, right. It smells different on everybody. Different on everybody and a lot of motherfuckers don't understand that shit, especially yeah. if they don't take a bath. Yeah, you got man. some motherfuckers who don't bathe and think, oh shit, I can go get that and it'll substitute. Along over dirt. Yeah. And, Smell like sandy yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Smell like a baby wipe <laughs> after they rubbed it through the crack of your ass. There's a little shit on it, there's still a little of that good scent on it too. But yeah, I don't like know. when you shit and spray. Yeah, that's it's what you smell. smell, smell like. <laughs> you I, I smell, smell that strawberry, but I smell that shit too. <laughs> <laughs> so that brings me to my I next question. I smell that grapefruit, but I still that's smell, smell that, that shit. shit. <laughs> That banana smell good, but that damn shit mixed in. So, since you said that about, um, you know, you don't go off of what other people wear or how they smell or whatever, when people smell you, do you tell them what you got on? If they ask, like, yeah. So you don't give a fuck. You just go ahead and let them know. Like, even if it's your mixture, you tell both of them, oh, it's a mixture of. I ain't. Get- I ain't the type of guy that hide none of that type of stuff. I used to be that nigga. If, before this show, I would not tell you what the fuck I had on. If I, I don't know you, if I don't, if I don't rock with you like that, I'm not gonna tell you. Because when people got a hold to my favorite cologne, which is Baccarat, when that shit, when people got a hold of that back in uh, during COVID, mm-hmm. and and, yeah. and got that PPP money, mm-hmm. man, I didn't want that shit no more. Everybody got it, and it's. Uh, I rate that a 10 out of 10. It's a marvelous, fantastic, awesome, magnificent cologne. It's a fragrance. It's not even a cologne. It's an extrait. But I can't wear it no more unless I mix it with something. I got a couple things I mix it with because you can't really, like you can still smell it if you really know it, but you really know something else is in it. So it still gives off another scent and you still want too much smell like the next person who just don't know about mixing the shit like I do. So like you know about mixing that, you put me on one. I've never mixed that. Matter of fact, I want to see what it smell like to go. I've never seen a nigga that don't want to tell a nigga what he got on. Oh, I I tell you quick. Uh, I used to tell people I got on booster cologne. Just say so get the fuck out my face. Damn. Get that look. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I just because I just type of nigga don't want nobody to tell the movie either, right? Huh? Like I don't care about that either. Yeah, don't tell me that goddamn movie. Like what in the fuck I'm watching? I don't movie? care. You can say all you want to. You can say all you want to. I'm still... Savage still overpowers. And the fact that they came out with an elixir of Savage is still a great scent. But Savage is 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 so common, I don't want to end and, up somewhere else smelling I, like somebody else. I feel you. And the thing about it is, I just put a little... If I mix it, it don't be that much of that stuff. Yeah, but see, it. I only put one squirt of that on that paper. Savage yeah. is a very powerful... It demands attention. It's very captivating. Like, when you smell it, when you when you wear it, mm-hmm. you are going to own the room unless somebody come in with something else like the extra version of Baccarat or the Cabiria with Tiziano Terenza, something like that. But that is a very, a very powerful scent. And they actually have two or three more versions of this. The Elixir just came out like a year or two ago. And the only difference is it has a little bit more lavender in it. Still a great scent. And then longevity is even more. You have to damn near, I don't know how you have to get that shit off. Like it's, it's a great scent for anybody who don't give a fuck about somebody else smelling like them, go and get it. I, I'm not trying to deter you from getting it. It's a great scent. It is it's great, but I just don't want to smell like everybody else. But I he was, just put me on a mixture, so. I was on that YSL for probably about two about two turns. Why? Two, that right here. It's this. No, this is this one just came out. Not that one there. I'm just saying. Yeah. So YSL, why? Yeah, I yeah. guess. I, I didn't, man. That's the name of it. Why? 
It was on the bottle, right? Yeah. Was, yeah. yeah, 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 hell yeah. Just spread out. Well, I'm going to put you on one of mine. All right, and, you know, you hard on the motherfucker, so you might not like it. I'm about scared to let you smell it. I hope it ain't the other shit that smell like that. No, no. Turquoise this, can of rage. No, this don't smell like That rage you can spray all on your plates in the cabinet, take them out and eat on them, they ain't going to do nothing. They ain't going to do nothing to you. <laughs> nothing to you, man. No, this ain't, this, this ain't that. You know, this is one of my favorites. Um... It's from the maker of Baccarat, which is Francis Curzon. Um, Baccarat was the first fragrance of Fran Francis Curzon that I was introduced to. So, when I, of course, I like that. So I started studying, well not studying, but just researching what else he had. Um, this wasn't on the line when I was hip to, when I first got hip to him. This came out later on. I had already started wearing his line. So when this was an addition to it, I was definitely pleased with it. Um, it's called the All Our Rose, and there are two versions of it, of course. Some, uh, majority of his fragrances are um, unisex. This one is not. This one is, this majority of his fragrances are unisex. This one is not. This one is specifically for men. Um, even though it's rose, but it's for men. He has a feminine, uh, a feminine version as well. I love even this. Rose. Even though it's rose. It's, 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 it's and they don't get you in the wash, they gonna get you in the rinse. <laughs> <laughs> they crazy. Nah, nah, dead serious. This is one of my favorite ones. Let's see a perfume. Huh. No, it's a, it, 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 it actually, it is a perfume. It's not a perfume. A perfume is what you want. What licks his lips? A perfume. <laughs> it's what you want. No, yeah, because I, because I, I'm, a, I'm, a, you know, what I'm saying if I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you right. A perfume is what you want. Uh, mm -hmm. A perfume is for a woman. A perfume is, you know, for a man or a woman, is, is, is unisex, but it just means it's more oil, which is the fragrance, in the bottle than it is in an OD toilet, which is nothing but alcohol and water and a drop of the fragrance. Mm -hmm. So you never want an OD toilet. You, you <laughs> I never, never like them. Yeah, because it's want, sound like want, it's, it's toilet water. That's what I say. In, uh, in, in marshes and all that. Down yeah, there, yeah. So. They sell it in in Macy's and shit like that too. You you never really you want to stay away <laughs> from a uh, uh, you want to stay away from an OD toilet. Uh, perfume <laughs> is where you want to go. The longevity <laughs> is 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 more. It's, it's a better quality. I ain't never wore that. You wore that? What? That little, what, that little, what you say, the Oli, Oli, Oli? Oli toilet. <laughs> that one I didn't know, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I've, I've had all type of shit. I had, the, you know, Polo. I had um, uh, Kendra Cole Reaction. I had all type of shit. Sean John, Unforgivable. That's an Oli toilet, but I still wear it. Uh, you still wear it? I love Unforgivable. Sean John, yeah. I saw you on camera when they went over the house when they came. Down. Man, and the nigga. It was you, it was the other boy there. I saw that. Camera. No, they, they I, ain't, I, ain't been, I ain't hung with them in a while, so I, I went over there. I went out there. He gonna edit that out. Mm -hmm. But now when the helicopter went over, I saw you duck back in there. I said, that's Justin. <laughs> No, not his son, Justin, but Justin Whitehead. That's him. Because I know y'all. Cool, man. I know, man. It ain't hunting no more. One, but one Justin over there. <laughs> Whitehead. But no. <laughs> <laughs> but no, this, back to my, my pick of the day, my prize pick fra fragrance of today. One when of my it, favorites. When the they one kicked the door in, it was, a, it was an episode of six, 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 600 Pound Life. <laughs> playing on TV. I'm so TV. I know you were there. <laughs> 600 Pound Life were playing. Now go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, man. All right, so this one is, uh, like I say, it's one of ones by Francis Curzon. It came out in like September of... 21, 2020, I don't know. But anyway, it's definitely one of my favorites. Uh, like I said, it's, it's for men, specifically for men, even though it is a rose scent. But it's not one of those roles where it's, it's feminine at all because it, it has a mixture of grapefruit, uh, sage, of course, rose. Um, Definitely amber and cedarwood. Oh, he finna say something. I ain't about to he, say nothing. He finna, it's cool. give, he finna give me a fucked up review on one of my faces. Yeah, let me see it. I want to look at it. Yeah. You yeah. got it sitting up there like it's a lifeguard or something. <laughs> <laughs> 
Pull the top off. Smell it again. I, I'm looking at how much. I'm telling you, I, I look paper at the don't do it just as like I it look should. at the bottle to see how much they put into the bottle, too, some oh. of the time. You know what I mean? Well, it's, they put enough in it to charge a motherfucker $275. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's exactly how much it is. And it's one, of my, it's, it's one of those I wear any time, but I prefer the daytime. You can like, wear it any season. Um, it's, it's probably better in the spring <clears throat> when you're going to wear, like, short sleeve, white T-shirt. Some cologne bottles be be be, be they, you, you empty them out. You be like, I'm gonna sell this to somebody. Like, I mean, it, yeah, it's a nice bottle. It's, it's a very a nice, nice bottle. bottle. It's a very it nice bottle. It smells good. Yeah. It does. Oh well, I appreciate that. Would you wear that to your event, the Fanny? Um, no, I probably. You gonna stick? You gonna stick to you? What's the name? No, I'm trying to see. Well, well let me see. You gonna stick to your Joe Melo? Huh? Yeah, yeah, I would. I would. Uh, Probably wear that Joseph, man. Joseph. Yeah, you wear him. This is more of a, if you're going to put a sweater on. If you wearing long sleeve, it's more of a sweater type. This is some old cozy ass, you know what I'm saying? You can still wear it any season, but you got to wear it right. You can't just cozy. throw it on, you know what I'm saying? More, like, I wouldn't wear this with a with a, with a a uh, collar shirt or nothing like that. It's either a t-shirt. Oh, nothing with a collar. It would be like. You got to wear a like, cool like, Yeah. Like, you gotta be you cool wear it with a t shirt or a crew neck sweater uh, or some shit like that. I wouldn't wear it with a turtleneck neck because you gotta let your neck breathe. When you... That's some shit. Yeah. I'm trying to catch it. It smells pretty good. It's, it's very good. And you don't even have to mix this one with nothing. And the longevity is amazing. I get out of nine and a half. You say you stole it from where? <laughs> I ain't steal them from nowhere. <laughs> See, these stores, I'm going in, you can't steal them. If you can steal these, uh, DM me. I promise you I won't say nothing. <laughs> you can create a, another page and just put a fucking egg as your, as your picture. Just let mm -hmm. me know you know how to get shit like this. And I got it's shit like this, and I got you. Because that's, that's what I need. Yeah, that's uh, what smells good. Yeah, that's, it's a good one. But, uh, yeah, no, no. It's, it's, it's one of my favorites. Like I say, it's by Francis Kershaw. Um... Is from the, the creator Baccarat. A lot of people don't know that he worked with uh, that John Paul guy, John Paul Gardier, the little the bottle made like a body. You ever seen it? Shaped like a body. It's a I bowl. ain't know. I'm not a connoisseur. If that's oh, man, I'm, I, not, I'm not into. Yeah, I'm he learning. With I'm them. sitting there when you said the oleosis. That's what I'm saying. I learned all that. Now. OD toilet. Yeah. 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 OD that. toilet. That's you don't, you, you, you don't want none of that, bro. You don't want none of that. You but know I, what? I appreciate. I ain't, I ain't, you ain't got to tell me not to. I ain't know what. You oh, what? I appreciate you for telling me that I taught you though. But <laughs> yes, you know, sir. I'm learning. Yeah. The longevity for this is ten hours plus. Um, I've wore this and didn't. How you know? But come back to you. Uh, I wore this on dates and didn't go home. And when I got up to go home the next day, I can still smell it in my shirt or, you know, what she ain't lick off my neck. Or, like, if I do like this, mm -hmm. I can smell it on my arm. What she ain't lick off her neck. Bro, I know you went down. You know how I put that hot beak on You put that down to that little belly button. You put that little hot beak right you down. You already know it. Right down to the leg. You, you better know how <laughs> And this right here helped me put that hot beak on it. For anybody who don't know it, that... <laughs> Do know what that means. Um, but now, nah, bro, is like I say, is is one of them. If you are interested in buying it, you or you or anybody else. No, I like it. It's, it's uh, it smell good. Yeah, it's uh, you can get it at any where they sell high end fragrances. Uh, in Atlanta, of course, you know we ain't got them but Saks and Neiman's. Um, it retails for two seventy five a bottle. This is the only size they got. Uh, where, where you say you still live from? Sax <laughs> or Neiman's. Sax <laughs> or Neiman's. Um, 275, I stole. <laughs> and, you know, like I say, it's one of those, you might not, I don't know what your what what what, what your budget might be, but, you know, if you... I like it. You it, you can turn it into an everyday cologne. Um, it smells good. You know, but like I say, I give this one, and just because it's, it's mine, I'm not saying that, but I give this one a nine and a half. What you get, bro? What I rate it? Out of mm, man, because I know you ain't gonna bullshit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because I can't think of one that is that's that I could literally, literally say better. The only thing I, I like more is the smell of that cool water. I wouldn't, I would mix that. To, I actually still like that smell. Yeah, I ain't telling nobody not to get it, it's yeah. just not a part of my collection. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I, 
I smell. Anything you can walk so in Walmart cool water and get, I don't is know. the best smell of cologne that I ever really smelled before. Cause I, I was it. young, but I was about take fifth you grade. Back to some shit. Yeah, it take me back, and that smell. And, yeah, people scents are. Yeah, one two things I know. So this right here, I give it about a seven or eight, it cause it. it still ain't gave me that thing what made me look back. Yeah. When the motherfucker walked by. Can I get you that? Yeah. I look, when That's that cool water went yeah. by, I remember. <laughs> he was a fat nigga wearing it. it, was, it was, I said, damn. So, mm -hmm. okay, so would you buy it? Would you get it? I probably would get that cool water, man, and mix it down. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying, stuck on that I would cool buy that joke. I know what to get you. In. I would buy that joke, that Joe Malone, man. That Joe Malone smell good. In June. I know what to get you. Hey man, Joe Malone, man. Or that no, cool that cool water. water. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> right to Walmart. You I'm give me that bottle of cool water, I spray that bit every day I that way. And just <laughs> put it back up and go on. Every time you pay it by me, I better smell cool. No, water, I ain't gonna spray it on me. Every day before I leave, I'm gonna spray it on the wall. <laughs> so I ain't get the fuck on out the door. I'm well, not putting it on me. Okay, so you give mine a seven or eight. I yeah. can live with that. That's that's cool. No, that's above average. I ain't give yours a seven eight. No, this is mine. This is this yeah. Is I mine. know it. I'm saying I'm giving the smell of that cologne or how it hits a seven or eight because it does smell good. That Joe Malone, I give a eight or nine or something. Oh, Honestly, cool. and them other things don't even get a, like a bad rating. They still get a four or five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, but no, nah, bro. Anything under six, I don't want. Yeah, I'm saying I ain't. And Joe if Malone I was to rate him, if me. I was to rate, okay, but that Joe Malone is like an eight or nine. Well, I mean, like long because longevity Man, matters. Let me hear that Joe. Let me hear the get a hit of that Joe Malone. Here you go. Real. Yeah. Spray, you spray on the card you want. To. <laughs> I'm I look, longevity matters to me. Joe Malone is yeah, great. Longevity don't know. It don't. I swear to God, that's why. That's why I might be. You know. You know. I was one of them niggas like long with the outside house look good for being inside. Oh, I was shit, one of them. Nah, uh, uh, uh. Hell <laughs> I didn't no. like that now. I said I was one of them I, niggas. So yeah. he, I grew up. You can blow on it, just shake it yeah, or something. I was trying like to let that drip get off of it, too. Yeah. Shit, that you might know. be even better for you. See, man, I like this motherfucker, man. I swear to God. See, we got a one. We got a yeah, one. Yeah, I we, like this. I, that's I'm, what I'm, I'm saying. I'm that's just glad I, I found one that you like. Yeah, this Joe, yeah, this is Joseph, yeah. right? Yeah, that bitch smells good, man. You want to take that with you? Yeah, you want to give me a little spray, too, the one you took? No, tell me. Oh, what, yeah. Which one? Oh, okay, my bad. Is that the one you took? <laughs> the one you took. Like, I saw you walk off smooth. Like, See, you walked off smooth, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, this motherfucker <laughs> smell good. Yeah, you can get that in um, uh, Sephora, Neiman's, or Saks. They got it. I rate this Sauvage a 10. I'm not going to lie. Well, I give it a 9 because they got that elixir, and that is definitely a 10. Uh, and I can't give both of them a 10. But it's an excellent fragrance. I, just because I don't wear it anymore because of my personal reasons, I'm not going to hate on it. It is a great fragrance. Sauvage is a great fragrance. Uh, and just because it is, I am going to add it to my collection when I just run out of shit to buy that I really want. I just want to add another bottle to it. I'm do it. Yeah, because it's, a, it's, it's good to have. I'm going to put Cool Water on the shelf later on. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, that nigga that, I hope Cool Water get this nigga. Please give my it's brother a couple here. Of yeah, yeah I'm going to give him a sponsorship, goddamn. I'm paying to wear that shit. <laughs> Snoop Dogg, I want something from you too. This man. Prada, um, I, let me smell it by itself. Because when I mixed it, that Sauvage overpowers it, just like it does. That in, Prada smells pretty good. I'm kind of. 2% of me on that, well, 20% of me on that is the color. You know what I mean? I like the color, and it smells good. The color just draw me into where I, even if it didn't smell good, I was going to put it on the shelf. Yeah. So it smelled pretty good, and I said, fuck it. That motherfucker smelled pretty good. To be honest, they got a lot of the same notes. That's why I couldn't tell it with that. They smell very similar. They smell very similar. And that's the reason. For that, I give it. And that's. I don't know the longevity of it, so to be fair, I have to give it a seven because it still smells good. It still smells good. It's very clean. It's something that I would, you can really wear day or night. Um, 
any season. Very clean, right? Yeah, it's very clean. Yes. You can wear it day or oh, night, like. any season. I don't know the longevity of it. It's something that I would have to get a sample of, like the Joe Malone or something, and wear it on my skin. Nigga, see. Like I said, a few times I put some cologne on and take a bath, but like I said, it was cool yeah, well, situations. Nah. Well, you want to take a bath with these days. This I is am. this is a, a, a I'm great never one. Not gonna ever do it uh, again. If you would like to just add it to your to well, your. Keeping it one hundred. <laughs> if you want to just add it to your collection, uh, you're looking for a good everyday cologne, and I'm pretty sure it is not as expensive as some of the ones that you will find in Neiman's or Saks. So you can turn it to an everyday cologne if you don't want to spray stuff that's a bit more pricey. But it's a very good everyday cologne I, for anybody who wash your ass, because. Just because I say it's clean, don't mean you clean. But what it, you said again, it has a lot. What of, you said it has a lot of similar notes to that. I damn near thought I sprayed that on that again. So yeah, yeah. very similar. So I'm gonna tell you this. Just personally, don't mix them no more. You don't think so? Don't mix them no more. You can just wear one. Well, I'm still gonna mix them. <laughs> <laughs> well, do your thing, my <laughs> nigga. <laughs> but uh, you know what, dog? I ain't gonna tell you no lie again, dog. Up. I appreciate you for coming through. Uh, I I definitely had to have you come through again, bro. Right? You know, I tell everybody, you put the mic in my hand. That ain't just, you know, what I'm saying that that is a bragging. That's a bragging right. That's a bragging right and to come in the game and to be accepted by people like Kato and Carlos and and everybody else, man. As soon as I come in as a rookie, that means a lot, you know. And he told me, he said, you ain't talking about shit. The first time I got off stage, he said, you ain't talking about shit. But if you keep going, I got a feeling you're gonna be so. Appreciate you, dog. Appreciate you. I man. told you. Right you, now. you told me to my face. I walked I off you. like, God damn, this nigga here rude as fuck, bitch. But I appreciate it. Said, you ain't talking about shit, but when you do, you going to. That's what you needed. I needed that. People don't understand. You need a motherfucker that you needed that. hurt your feelings a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a, a fucking smidge. And give you, you know something to eat right after. Yep, give, give you something, something to eat right, right after. after. Teach you how to get some money. Teach you how to move around. When you get around people, you know, but that's for a whole nother episode. Again, man, bro, I appreciate you for coming through. My this nigga. has been my episode of My Sentiments. We out of here.